Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing another unboxing video. In case you are not following me on Instagram, um, my last camera kind of just like broke. It fell backwards while I was shooting a video. <laughs> So it's been around a month and a half since that happened. Before it happened, I was already looking at other camera options. Mostly because I wasn't really happy with the user experience of the camera, my last camera. I'm getting annoyed. And now I'm no bad. What up? Why would you rather focus on the pictures behind me? So yeah, the camera broke. I finally got a replacement. I had been looking at this camera for the longest time. And since I first read about it, researched about it, I was like, this is the camera I want to get. I actually was contemplating on getting this since like March, but I was waiting for a good opportunity to get it. This is not a good opportunity, but I guess it's the universe telling me that you gotta get a new camera, man. It's, it's time. <laughs> so what I have here is the Canon M50. Let's see what's inside the box. I'm very excited to open this. FYI, I'm shooting this with my iPhone camera. It's pretty impressive that they do 4K, but the reason why I got a camera, a separate camera, is because I need my phone most of the time when I'm shooting videos. So this is the exception. <laughs> Here it is. Disclaimer, this has been disinfected. Are you ready for this? Bam, 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 bam. Okay. This is the camera strap. This is the battery charger. Without the wire, the wire is this. I'm actually thinking if I should get one of those adapters so that I could do live stream videos. Yes, you can freaking do live stream videos with this camera, guys. What the heck in, in the neck? In. And this is it. It's heavier than I expected it to be, um, but it's not too heavy. It's the grip is quite nice, actually. I'm excited about the EVF. I love that. <laughs> EVF is the electronic viewfinder, and basically it's high touch when you look into the eyepiece. Um, when you open it, oh, I got chills. <laughs> it's so profesh. This is like the most professional camera I've ever owned. So the actual screen is twistable. So yeah, it twists like that so that you can do selfie videos and you can twist it back into place so that you won't risk scratching the screen. That is a feature that my last camera did not have and I appreciate this. It comes with a cap, a lid in case um, you're gonna go for some shoots outside and the lens is too bulky. So it comes with this, a cap, a lens cap. Is this technically a lens cap? cap? It's just a cap, I guess. The lens on the other hand, this is the kit lens and it also comes with one of those covers. I don't know what they're called. The covers, it's basically the same as this one but thicker. I'll show you. So this is what it looks like again for when you go out and take sh shoots to on shoots. <laughs> and then the actual camera lens. So we're gonna test it out. Ah, I'm so excited. I don't look excited because like I'm still recovering, but I actually am because I haven't been able to vlog for like a month and a half, so there's that. To install it, you just twist it in until it clicks, and to remove it, you press this button, and then twist it, and release. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> I thought I was getting in grand I am. Back in high school, I used to love taking pictures. My uncle, who I consider my kuya, had his own DSLR and he lent it to me because it was it was school week and I wanted to take pictures of the outfits that everyone was wearing because we had like a theme every day. I mean, I'd always had a passion for taking photos, but it was really then and there where I was like, oh god, I really want my own camera. He also had a Canon, except his DSLR only took photos. So of course, I needed something with a video. And Canon, of course, is one of the best brands for taking videos and pictures of course. So that's why I really looked into Canon photos. The other brands I was considering were the Sony and Fujifilm. Film. Fujifilm because because of the color vibrancy. Like I mentioned before, this supports live stream. You just have to download the program, I think, on your laptop and plug it in here via USB. 
there's also the Wi-Fi feature to allow you to transfer videos to your mobile devices. So this is on. So this is what it looks like. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, it is quite heavy. And I am pretty sure I will never drop this. Oh, another thing that I'm happy to have, my last camera did not have this, um, is a microphone port here on the side. So this is the Boya BYMM1 Universal Cardioid Microphone. You can actually get this at Henry's Cameras or any camera store at that, but I would trust Henry's the most. Um, oh. <laughs> my life, like, flashback. What is it? It wasn't the camera. So let's open this bad boy up. This is applicable not only to the camera, but also to the cell phone and if it has a jack. And I want to say computer also. I, I will try that out. I will let you know. I will finally be able to use a microphone that is not my cell phone. I was also considering the Rode camera microphone, but I don't know. It wasn't within my budget. Oh, so the horseshoe, you pull this thing out. This will easily get lost with me. Not gonna lie. Why are there two of these? Why? Why? This one's prettier, so I'm gonna use this one. Look at that. It also comes with a pouch. Oh, this is the microphone. This is the microphone. <laughs> I thought it was just the... I was expecting to find the microphone in here, but it's actually already with the um, filter. <laughs> How do I remove this without breaking it? Okay, so this looks like a butthole, <laughs> but this is the microphone. And you clip this right here. Don't hurt yourself. I'm scared. <laughs> I might break it. Stop! Stop it. Stop it, huh? I'm not okay with this. Why is life so hard? I can't do it. <gasps> there! I did it! So there, that's what it looks like without the filter. Another reason why I like the DSLR is because as I could look into the eyepiece, I could also adjust the, the zooming in like that. Oh my god, it's beautiful! Oh god. And it freaking detects, and it has that click. It has that really nice click that those DSLRs have. So I can either look here. Whenever I look into the eyepiece, the light shuts off. On, off, on, off. Now I'm gonna try going on video. Movie recording mode. So what I read online is to choose mode to automatic. So that's the first setting. Because really, ideally, what you want is that you don't have to worry about adjusting anything. But what you can do still is you can tap on the screen and still adjust things. Like the exposure. Exposure, by the way, keep it at zero. Unless you want it to be really dark, then you lower it. And if you want it to be brighter, you know, iPhone stuff. And of course, I forgot to plug in the microphone. Damn, have I always been that white? Oh no, it's the exposure. Can I adjust it? Oh, I can actually adjust it. Wait. While filming. Yo, that's amazing. This camera is awesome, man. <laughs> this is great. This is freaking great. Can I take pictures while taking a video? No. Okay. So my exposure is a little dark. Yeah, let's keep it at zero. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Mix Phoenix. Is it gonna... Okay, my only issue now is that it is quite heavy, so I can't really... But you know what? I don't mind. It's still really pretty. <laughs> the quality is amazing. I'm so glad I upgraded. So anyway, that was the video. I'm so excited to make more content for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about the camera. If you have any recommendations for other stuff that I should buy for it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!